anyone who's made the move to digital books knows how convenient it is. No waiting until the bookstore opens to get that next novel in a series, no stacks of books in your carry-on, and no volumes clogging up your shelves. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and there are several e-readers on the market. And of course, these days, virtually any tablet can become a reader too. Amazon Kindle is one of the originals, and the Kindle Oasis, the most expensive e-ink e-reader from Amazon, has now been refreshed for 2019. So what is new with it? I'm going to tell you, but first an early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and give me a sub, since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The new Kindle Oasis is slightly refreshed. The new Oasis still has its signature design with a wide aluminum body and a bump out on the back. It's got a high-res 7-inch monochrome display with adaptable brightness that adjusts the screen's color tone depending on your ambient light conditions for what Kindle says is a better reading experience and reduced eye strain. It's also waterproof. The Kindle Oasis e-reader is a slick, thin, and lightweight reader and features a high-quality e-ink screen, but it is definitely costly at about $250 US dollars or $359 Canadian. Now, for some, the Kindle Oasis may seem like overkill. Its cheaper sibling, the Kindle Paperwhite, which has a 6-inch screen, starts at about $130 and it's perfectly adequate for most people. Now, to get much use from the Oasis here, you need to buy books from Amazon, of course. Fortunately, you can buy books right on the device. Just head to the Store tab and search or surf for what you want. You can also supposedly access Audible audiobooks on this device, too. Now, that's available on other e-readers, yes, but in a significant disappointment, it appears Audible is not available on this device in Canada. Sigh. Now, this is an ongoing yet mystifying issue where functionality is quite limited for Canadian customers. I don't understand why, and I've never received a satisfactory explanation. The Kindle Oasis design is the subject of much debate. The aluminum back is a bit slippery. The shape features that wedge-shaped, grippable design, which according to Amazon makes it easier to hold. Some folks love it, some don't, and it's personal preference. I don't mind it, I guess. On the front, you get two physical buttons for turning pages. Hitting the top button will turn the pages forward while the bottom one goes back. The buttons are responsive and work pretty well, but they seem somewhat superfluous. You can turn the pages with a swipe already. Again, some folks prefer the buttons to the repetitive swiping motion and some don't. When it comes to the display, Amazon has made some improvements. The Oasis has a seven inch monochrome display with 300 PPI, which is quite sharp. Reading on the Oasis is a delight as the texts look crisp and more precise thanks to that e-ink technology, which has matured a lot over the last decade. The new Kindle Oasis has LED lights behind the screen that allow the user to adjust the color tone from cool to warm, either manually or on a timed schedule automatically to match daylight and night conditions. So why is that? There are debates about whether the color tones of smartphones and ebook readers affect our sleep quality. Some studies show that blue light emitted from screens can make it harder to fall asleep, so being able to use warmer light as you're reading to fall asleep should help your circadian rhythms in theory. Now let's talk about the software on this device. The Amazon Kindle software still remains some of the best in the industry. There are a ton of customization options, including changing the formatting, the fonts, the font size, boldness levels, page spacing, margins, and a whole lot more. Additionally, you can adjust font size with a pinch to zoom gesture, making it quite convenient. Now, other benefits of the Oasis here is it suits both lefties and righties because the screen of the device will reorient depending on the reading position you're in. So if you need to grip it with your left hand as opposed to the right, you can still have easy access to those buttons. The battery on the Oasis is one of its significant upgrades. Amazon says the Oasis will last up to six weeks if you read about 30 minutes a day with the brightness level set to 13. That's remarkable and weeks longer than most tablets. I tested this device over several weeks and still had lots of juice. What does the Oasis have that the Kindle and the Paperwhite don't? The Kindle Oasis, like the Paperwhite, is waterproof, while the original Kindle is not. Oasis is the only e-reader from Amazon with the adjustable warm light and auto adjusting light sensors to adjust that light to the different times of day. It's also the only one with the buttons to turn the pages and the only one that will automatically reorient itself if you turn it upside down. 
but the other devices don't use buttons on one side, so there's really need for them to reorient anyway. Now, the Oasis is also a bit bigger than other e-readers. How is the reading experience overall? If you're not familiar with e-readers, they can take some getting used to. I was a die-hard paper book reader until I finished book one of the Mockingjay series, or whichever book that was, and I desperately needed book two at about one in the morning. The convenience of ebooks and ebook readers cannot be understated, but yes, you will definitely face an adjustment period, in my opinion. What can you expect in an ebook reading experience? Well, you can keep your place at all times while flipping around the book. The text is very easy to read, it's sharp and dark, and it pops right off the page. You can make and export notes if you like to read books for school or work, and the integrated Wi-Fi means you can look words up or do quick searches as well. One of the other great features of e-readers is that you can customize the screen for you. Change that font style or size, adjust the margins, or set the backlighting to be a more comfortable level for you. The adjustable light settings on the Kindle Oasis are easy to use. Touch to get the menu bar at the top and then choose settings, then you can adjust the brightness or the warmth. This creates a noticeable difference, dramatically saturating the screen from blue to yellow, and there's lots of variations in between, so you should be able to find just the right tone for your preference. Overall, the 2019 Amazon Kindle Oasis isn't all that different than the previous version. The exteriors are similar, but small changes like the adjustable color tones feature especially will make a significant difference to some readers. While I find it a nice option, it doesn't really feel worth the price of an entire other e-reader. Overall though, the 2019 Kindle Oasis is convenient for buying books, it is easy to read, it allows you to minimize other distractions that can easily come from reading on a tablet, for example. It's also lightweight, waterproof, and the battery life is phenomenal. Now when it comes to the stuff I didn't like, I found the interface kind of dull, and maybe that's because the menu of things you can do on this device isn't very deep, you're here to read books and that's pretty much it. I did find the operating system to be a bit slow, taking about three seconds to make selections happen, like choosing a book, though the page turning is nearly instant, so that's good. I'm also choked that Audible still isn't available to Canadian users. In this day and age, not having this key feature is a bit silly. Now, since I use Audible often enough, this missing piece alone would be enough to make me rethink purchasing this device. Now, I could put Audible on another tablet, which shall remain nameless, if I want to have that experience. So, would I get this just for the e-reading? That is the debate. I'm still finding it difficult to recommend this e-reader overall, where you're going to spend an extra hundred bucks over the next closest version, the Kindle Paperwhite. And even the $90 basic Kindle will serve the needs of most people. So overall, I would say save the extra money on the less than stellar extras on this device and just get the Kindle Paperwhite instead, then use the savings to buy more books. If you want to read more about the Kindle Oasis here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full blog and you can ask me any questions you have either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.